What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome or welcome back to Rhonda's Real Talk, where people come for the food and they stick around for the conversation. Before we get into this food, I want to ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all, the moment that y'all have been asking me for, the moment y'all been waiting for, and the moment I've been waiting for too, my mama is here. Auntie Nisi is up in this thing. What's up, GP fam? <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a, a long, long time. a long, long yes. time. Um, so yes, my mama is here, y'all. She's in town, and we got us some Taco Bell. I'm gonna tell you how this Taco Bell even happened because we wasn't even supposed to be eating this, but here we are. Um, we tried a lot of secrets. <laughs> I'm telling y'all everything, okay? Uh, we got some stuff from their three dollar menu. I didn't even know they had a three dollar menu. I don't know if it's a new thing or not. I don't go to Taco Bell like that, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, all right. So. What we have here, we got loaded nachos. Me and mom both got loaded nachos. Yes. Uh, mom got a chicken enchilada burrito and a cheesy bean and rice burrito. I got a stacker and a double stack taco. So that's what we got on the menu. Got water off to the side. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I don't Let's know. Do I don't it. know which is which, but. I want to try these nachos. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay, let's do that first. I'll do the same. Let me show you what the nachos look like, y'all. That's what we got going on with the nachos. That is beans, looks like ground beef, sour cream, cheese, and guacamole. So that's what we got going on on this. Um, these loaded nachos. It said new. So these are new to the $3 menu. And again, I don't know when the $3 menu started. Maybe it's been around for a long time. Do you know? Look, I haven't been to <laughs> Taco Bell in a very long time. A long, long time. Yeah, like years? Like years. Like. You remember you used to work at Taco Bell? I didn't work at I mean, Taco I'm sorry. Bell. You worked at Wendy's mm -hmm. and, no. and your first paycheck, you, we went to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, took my, I, I, took, I took my parents to dinner. <laughs> I was 14, 15, 14. 14? 15, 15, yeah. I was like 14, 15 years old. Um, first paycheck, took my parents to Taco Bell. It was actually right next door to Wendy's, wasn't it? It was next So she came to pick yes. me up and I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat y'all to dinner. So go ahead and tell us one of her favorite stories, y'all. And let me tell you, see, when you had to spend your own money, you know, things are different. So I think that we got a combo. It was like, I think, I, I can't remember. It was uh, it's, like it was a burrito like supreme a, and a taco. A burrito supreme and a taco, right? Mm -hmm. And then I, I ordered the same thing for your dad and you said no extras. She was trying to add extra guacamole. Let me get an extra scoop of that. Right, or as an extra taco or something. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're a dope. So anyway, mm -mm. your dad came home that night and he was like, Denise, is this the only thing you ordered me? He was like hot about it, right? My dad used to work graveyard. So he got home late and we would leave his food in the microwave. <laughs> or it was in the fridge or whatever. He was like, I know you didn't go to Taco Bell and you just got me these two little items. And excuse me, ma'am, uh, you oh. didn't feed the GP fam. Well, you was talking. Did that so? Anyway, y'all, here you go. See, I look out for you guys. You see, Rhonda just started eating and didn't want to feed you guys. I've been doing a good job. You have? I've been doing a good job. Have you not been watching my videos, ma'am? No, you don't watch all your videos. Uh, one of your favorite I'm, I'm going to just check him. No. I think I have been feeding the GP fam. I think so. This ain't bad. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm gonna tell you one thing though. I told y'all, and I was telling you how I don't think I can eat ground beef like that. So I think my stomach gonna be tough. Well, I'm gonna take some some medicine or something when we get done. These are pretty good. They're not bad. I mean, for three bucks, it's not bad. You said the three dollars is a new menu. I mean, a new uh, item on the menu. The These are a menu? new item on mm -hmm. the three dollar menu. Not bad, y'all. I mean, obviously, this is nothing different. It's nothing out of the ordinary. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a different type of meat or a different type of like a different like. It's not like chipotle steak or something special in terms of meat. Right. It's the traditional meat that you've always had at Taco Bell. They're just giving you another three dollar option. They had some other specials. Well, I didn't even really look at the menu. Mm -hmm, they had a whole bunch of stuff. Oh. They had like cheesy potatoes. Cheesy potatoes. Got a couple different burritos. It was like maybe the potato was like a taco or. Oh, they yeah. had a potato taco, but then they had like a cheesy potato. Like I think it's like in, maybe in a cup, maybe. Mmm. Mmm. Something like that. Um. 
I'm happy to be here with you. I'm happy you're here too. Yeah, it's just that, uh, you know, the weather's still a little different for me. I just, <laughs> no. I'm going to get with it. It was 82 degrees yesterday. And then today we got a tornado warning. What's up, y'all? So I'm in the middle of editing and I realized I said the wrong thing. So I did not get a notification for a tornado warning. I got notification for a tornado watch. Those are two very different things. And y'all know I'm still getting used to the lingo and all that, but I wanted to pop in and make that correction. All right, let's get back to the video. <laughs> so it really threw mom for a loop. We decided to stay in the house. All we did was like run out to the store real quick. But wait a minute, you tell me, tell me about that tornado watch. Oh, I showed her <laughs> the warning on my phone. I kept getting notifications. And I showed it to her. There was some thundering, some rain, and all that, some lightning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was like, wait, hold up. So it kind of makes sense. Why didn't folks was partying last night, huh? I guess so. They were throwing down. So it was some people in the apartment complex. That were hanging out by the grill last night, hanging out, playing music, and I ended up staying at my honey's house last night. I had to go over there for something. And I stayed the night. You said they was up until five in the morning, right? Five or six in the morning. It was late. It was late. It might have been a little early. They might have. Y'all, yeah, they was excited about that weather. It felt good last night too, because I left late last night to go over her house. It was like eleven something. Mm -hmm. They were out when I left. Okay. It was like seventy seven when I left. So they was like. We enjoying the moment, man. I mean, they, they they were out there having a good time. They it, they weren't really loud. I could just hear them out the window, but mm -hmm. you know, was having fun. They like see you see why? All right, let me try something different. I'm acting like I ain't got nothing else. Um, <laughs> what is this? All right, look, y'all. I'm assuming this is the stacker. I, I'm like, what? I'm trying to figure out what this is on the inside. Can y'all see that? Is this like tortilla chips, Doritos? I don't know what that is. They don't, I don't know what. Look, you see that? It just like, yeah, it just like, it like tortilla, Doritos, huh? Or tortilla, tortilla strips. Tortilla strips, yeah. Okay, this is a, uh, I don't know, a bean and cheesy. That one is the bean and, okay, so the cheese, the cheesy bean and rice burrito. Yeah, you know what that is? Okay. Look like. okay, let me see. Man, I haven't been to Taco Bell in a long time. Wow, <laughs> this feel. Look. Yeah. It's still the same. I mean, it's not like, you know, that they, mm -hmm. that the taste is different. It's still the same. So we went to the grocery store to grab, I went to go get some cream cheese because we were supposed to be having sushi bake, right? We had a small cart. It was not filled up. The top part of it had stuff in it. How many items did we have? Maybe 10, 12? Maybe not about 10, 10. Between 10 and 10, no more than 12, y'all. Why was our bill almost $70? We didn't have no meat, no dairy, no bread, no milk, nothing, y'all. Okay? And I was like, you know what? I was so frustrated because I'm like, we didn't get nothing. Then I decided, let's go spend more money. <laughs> and I was like, let's go to Taco Bell. I don't feel like cooking. So, like, the, yeah, we're going to do a sushi bake as well, y'all. So, me and mom will be having that. Well, Oh, this was only $14. $14.14 to be exact. I'm looking forward to the sushi bake. I don't know. Mom's been wanting the sushi bake since mm -hmm. I made it. That's one of the reasons I'm here. You came all the way out of that? <laughs> no, not the real reason. <laughs> mm. One of the reasons. So how my hot sauce came to be was mom worked in this past Saturday. Shout out to Sigma Gamma Row. The DOS chapter. Y'all, yeah. um, they put on an incredible event this past weekend. It was beautiful. Mom was a vendor. Like, just the music. Um, it was organized. Just the venue. The color. Like, all of it was dope. It was. Yeah, it was a real nice event. It, it was, was. It was. It was well organized. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. It was such a vibe. It was. All the vendors were great. Just everything about it was dope. It was. So, again, shout out to Sigma Gamma Rho, the DOS chapter. Thank y'all for having us. Yeah. All right, we had a really good time. Also, y'all, so if you're not following my mom already, Shirley Girl Boutique is her her boutique. It's an online boutique, so you can shop anywhere in the world. The link the link will be in the description box. So y'all go check out Cindy C out or also follow her on Instagram if you have an Instagram account. A lot of y'all already following her. 
Thank you, and I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. So much. So, when I tell y'all we was so down on Sunday, mm. we was done. <laughs> y'all, my back, my feet, the back of my leg, my ankle, just everything. That's it's, one thing I love what I do. It's a lot of work. The in-person events are, whoa. It's a lot of work. It really is. This is the stacker, y'all. It look like a case of beer. I know. I'm assuming it doesn't. Wait. Did what I say? You called it the stacker. Double stack tacos? Oh, okay, I'm lying. So this, what I have right here that had the little tortilla chips in it was the double stack taco. And this is a stacker. Is that what I just said? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Well, y'all know what I'm trying to say. So. Okay, I'm gonna come How am I supposed to eat this? Like individual pieces? Excuse me. I guess you can cut it or tear it. I want a little piece. You want to, do you want to try anything? Mm -mm. You can have something that have my, that burrito over there. This is the. What was What was the cow? Oh. Hmm. I thought that was the big and cheese. This must have been the enchilada. Or oh, that was? I don't know. What, what did we say? Does that look like chicken? Is it? Oh, that is chicken, yeah. Oh. That oh. Was the, how was that? A chicken, uh, what was it? A chicken enchilada burrito? Was it okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was, I don't know. I just, they mixed up the, and plus, it looked like the paper says the same thing, so. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've been having a good time since I've been here. We still got some more stuff to do. We supposed to really be going to the casino this time. Going to the casino. That's my jam. Supposed to be going plant shopping. Going to Cooper's Hawk. That's my jam too. Have to have the egg rolls there. We're going to this rose garden. The one that my friends told me about. Um, I got some other stuff lined up too. So we're going to try to cram it all in because it feels like the time is going by really fast. I don't know if that feels like that to you. but It, it does. The time is going fast, you know, and you know, I, have to, I have a second event. Oh, yeah. That's happening. Mom has another event on the 27th. What is it called? It is the Gold, G-O-A-L, Digger. I'm sorry. Gold Digger. Uh, it's a brunch. Gold Digger brunch, okay. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. But you know, at the um, Saroon event, I had I met so many beautiful people. It was really, really nice. They Everybody was really kind. Mm -hmm. And y'all, why look? Shout out to one of the vendors. Makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this right here, when I tell you we've been tearing this down, baby. Cucumber melon. It's a homemade, it's a handmade body butter. It has shea butter, coconut oil in it. Y'all. It's been getting my hands right. I don't know if I saw like y'all. Y'all probably done seen my hands sometimes, like how the weather and I think it's the weather and the water. And my hands have just been really messed up, you know, when it was cold and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this has been really helping my hand a lot. So we've been tearing it up. So we're gonna pay him a visit because we also got some incense from him. So I got some incense. We got the shea butter. Um, he has body oils and stuff too. And I didn't really get a chance to. Um, like smell all the body oils and stuff. So I want to smell that. So we're going to make our way there as well. So if you in the area, if you're looking for some different body butters and stuff and like scents, you should check them out. You should check them out. Yeah, it's a nice scent and um, it's really kind of like whippy. It's not kind of fluffy. Fluffy. Mm -hmm. It's like white. No, really, it's good. Um, it really moisturizes. Full of y'all. This Taco Bell food, it's cool. I mean, it's Taco Bell. You know, it just kind of is what it is. Um, this I would buy this again because they have so many handheld options on the three dollar menu. Like, if we about to get ready a road trip somewhere and I'm going to grab something real quick, I might grab something like this. Assuming this don't mess my stomach up. Let me just say that. Hmm. If this don't mess my stomach up, I would grab this. Like, if, if we about to go to Cincinnati or something or go to Indianapolis and I need a little something, I would grab something like this. The homemade nachos is so much better. Oh, yeah. Homemade everything, really. So, never have... Did they Mexican pizza before? Mm -hmm. Tasha's Mexican pizza is good. It's really good. 
I want her. I want her better than Taco Bell's. You know, uh, at one point before I stopped going to Taco Bell, like, that was one of the things I used to buy. I used to love that Mexican pizza. Mm -hmm, it's good. And they took it off the menu. Mm -hmm. And then bought it back. Mm hmm Like by popular demand. And I should buy those little um cinnamon mm -hmm. twists. Cinnamon twists. Mm -hmm. Did you have that on the menu? I don't Because when you were there, I did not really look at the menu that well. I'm telling y'all, we were supposed to have sushi back. But we having that tomorrow. So this to do. If you have any questions for mom or me. If you want to ask her questions about like the move, like since I've been gone, how that's been or anything related to that. If you have like mother daughter questions or if you need advice about something, hit me up. We want to answer your questions. Um, yeah, we want to answer your questions. So hit us up. So we it's can been lonely. It's been lonely. Mm -hmm. Come on, mom. Lonely. Mm -hmm. Even though I talk to you every day. Lonely, mom. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all, she going and her and my daddy going to end up out here. I need them to accept that. That they gonna end up living in Columbus. No, we just seen some fire houses now, so exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, just come on down. Yeah, you guys have some nice festivals and stuff mm -hmm. out here too. It's a lot of it's a lot of nice festivals out here, so I'm looking forward to that. But then also too, I'm going home in June, so I'm gonna miss a part of the summer here, which is cool. I think I'm gonna miss Pride. I've been wanting to go to Pride out here, but I think Pride is that weekend that I come home. Mm -hmm. So. Is it just one weekend they don't have it scattered? That I don't know. I think it. I, I don't know. I feel like that it should. That it was just like a weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I gotta look into the dates, but I feel like the weekend that I leave is gonna be Pride. So I miss Pride last year. I think I'm gonna miss it this year as well. So maybe I'm gonna miss it every year. But I'm going home June, middle of June, and I will be home for about two or three weeks. I already got some stuff lined up. Three weeks. <laughs> three weeks mom says three weeks <laughs> i want to see mom haven't seen my dad y'all since september of last year um i got some brunch dates and stuff already lined up looking forward to seeing my family i really want to have a barbecue while i'm out there just so mm -hmm. i can see as many people as i can at one time you should make that happen i do i want to have a barbecue i'm full we're you taking know? family pictures too we're doing family pictures mom picked the color the other day what color are we doing kelly green because we're doing kelly green i should start looking now because that seemed i never i don't see kelly green like that do you mm -hmm. Oh, I don't. I see it a lot. I don't see Kelly Green like that. So we try to take family pictures. Um, I was gonna say every year, but it ain't every year. We haven't taken pictures since since Granny passed away. No, since right before the pandemic. Which ones we did? That's the one we had the purple. I mean, it could have been. Wasn't that right after Granny passed away? Well, it could have been. Oh, maybe it wasn't. No, it wasn't. You're right. <clears throat> Anyway, the last color we did was purple. We've done red, black, white, and now we're on Kelly Green. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm going to have a jam-packed three weeks back home. I was going to say to you that last year I did my first Pride event in Fullerton. Oh, yeah, that's right. You said you had a really good time. It was, a, it was really nice. It was very organized. Really nice. When I tell you that you can get past some things, as many of y'all have been around and know, we had to work on my mama and my daddy, okay, about, you know, me being who I am, you know, I am a lesbian woman and that was a rough patch for us for sure. A rough patch, but we made it through and I'm grateful that we did so, so much so y'all that a full circle moment. When my mama told me she was working a pride event, I'm not surprised because of who she is now. It's just that full circle moment of like, wow, mm -hmm. like you have really come a long way mm -hmm. and she really enjoyed herself. She had a really good time. So yeah. So to anybody out there that if you're in a place where you're 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 in a place where you and a parent or you and anybody else in your life, y'all are working on repairing your relationship. Like we are actually an example of coming out on the other side of being able to repair that relationship mm -hmm. and find common ground. You know, have that respect for one another, um, have that open communication to be able to get over the hump. So we're a true example of that because that was a very very rocky time um, in terms of our relationship. So, so yeah. It has brought us even closer together. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. I think so. Like, for sure, my mom is, I look at my mom as my mom, but also my best friend. Like, somebody I can confide in and really say anything. Like, I'm so honest. Is it interesting to you how honest I am now? Yes. I feel like I used to be a very beat around the bush kind of person or like, you know, like, you yes. know, be walking on eggshells a little bit because you don't want to offend anybody. I'm not like that now. Is that feel well, different? It, it just come out okay, period. <laughs> but it's not it's not mean though. No, it's not, no, no, no. It's kind of it's not mean spirited. It's yeah. always delivered in a, I think a kind way. 
but I think in a lot of cases, so you just catch me off guard, and it, it's just funny a lot of times. It's like, I can't believe she's asking, whatever. <laughs> so we just have a conversation, and we just talk about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have come a long way. We have. We've come a long way, and, you know, here we are. Yeah, here we are. So, yeah. Yo. Girl, girl what's your name? Why she just called me Rhonda's Red so a second ago? But then try to say she watch all my videos. I do. But mama, how you gonna call me Rhonda's Red Sauce? That's why I know you ass. <laughs> Yo, we about to end this video. Okay, Rhonda. <clears throat> what? Okay. What? You changed your name again. So what? Rhonda's Real Talk. But you just called me Rhonda's Red Sauce. Because when I said real talk, you said that wasn't your name. You said Rhonda's red talk. That's why. <laughs> mm. I'm so sorry. It be they talk about it be your own kids. It be your own parents. Okay. Do you forgive me? I'll think about it. Mm. I'll, I'll think about it. Really? I'm so sorry. But I, I really meant Rhonda's red talk. I mean real talk. It's okay. You don't know my name, neither does Tasha. It's cool. That's okay. It's cool. That's all good. It's all good. You see how the people that be that you be close with feel about you? That's the way I feel about you. <laughs> see, I just really just call you Rhonda. <laughs> That's true. All the extra shit is too much. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just remember Rhonda. That's your birthday. Her mama named her Rhonda. I would call the girl Rhonda. Right? Right. You would have added real and this and a T. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> All right, y'all. We about to go ahead and get up out of here. So again, <laughs> drop any questions you have for me and mom. We will address it in one of our videos that we do before she gets up out of here. She will be here until April thirtieth. Yes. So yeah, we got about what, like a week and a half left, something like that. Time is going by really, really fast. I know. I know. And I got to. I don't know. What? No, I just I have some things to do. Prepare before I go home. Yeah. Cause y'all, all this stuff. I, I ain't even vlog all. I should have vlogged all the stuff that was out here and what was going on, y'all. Because she sent so much stuff out here, which I'm not mad. Like she was ready to come. She was she was ready to handle some business. You know what I'm saying? So that's why she was so successful at the event, and she's gonna have a great event at the brunch on the 27th. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video of me and mom, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate y'all very much. I will meet you in the comments. Make the best of the day. Be good to yourself, y'all. Peace. Peace. Yeah.